In this video, I'd like to continue looking at events, simple events in JavaScript. So we're going to just have a simple little text input and, and then the HTML5 version of it, the number input, and look at the on focus event, the on blur, the on input, the on change, and sort of see the, the distinction between these. Okay, and we're also going to look at a way that I'm going to have two inputs, the two inputs sort of sharing functions, and then to know uh, which element in particular sort of call the function, invoke the function. Okay, so here we go. So this code can be found at uh, this link shown here. Okay, so what does this page do? open in the live server. Here is the page and it says, it's all going to be sort of console logging. So we need to bring up right click, inspect, bring up the console log. There's the console. This is a fake thing. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to put myself in the name box and I already have an event that is the focus event. And then I'm going to type a name, Ted, and I keep getting then uh, three input events and these were all for the text name. And then I can move to the age box. There are ways to do that. I can do that with the mouse. I could do that by tab. So, but, so if I go there by tab, then I had a blur event for at a change event. I have to tell you what a change event is. And there is a text name. There's a blur event for the text name and there is a focus. Um, so blur and focus are sort of the opposite. Focus is when you're sort of putting the cursor in there and it is the uh, element receiving the attention. And blur is when you are leaving it, when it's no longer the one getting attention. So um, you can uh, click or you can tab. Um, so I, I forget what I just did. Uh, let me uh, go do it by clicking. Uh, and you get a blur focus, blur focus as you go back and forth. Um, and I can also tab. So there I was tabbing. Okay. So, and also I can use the up down because it's a number control or I can type in it. And these are all different versions of input and change. Okay, so let's see how this was done. And so it doesn't, it's all just hidden in the console, but uh, it should give you an idea of what these events are about. Let me close the Explorer so I get a little bit more room. I have a little bit of styling, not much. Okay. So here is I have a label and an input text name, txt name, an ID. And I have uh, four events calling four different functions the focus, the on focus, on input, on blur, and on change. So I want to make a distinction between these for events and then I have the same four calling the same uh the same four events calling the same four functions down here for the number input with the ID of text age and the way I'm going to be able to distinguish between uh the on focus the my on focus function called by text name and that one called by text age, it's the same function, but the way I will be able to, here's the focus for text age, and here's the, the blur for text age, and uh, I can get the name. So here was the, the blur event for text name, and we saw the blur event for text age, and I know which element it was, and that is from this, this keyword, this. So when I'm here in the element and uh, 
in relating that element and event of that element to a function and calling that function based on that event. And the word this sort of refers to the element. So it's the same function, but I'm sending it some information about the particular element that called the function. Okay. So here's my focus method, my focus method, and it takes uh, this, this argument and it's being sent that word this, and it is, I called it EL for element, but I didn't want to write element all the way out. You know, I could have called it my element. And, and again, everything in here is just a console log. I'm saying that here's the element. Instead of, I just say, show me the element, the elements of this complicated thing, a full blown object with all sorts of properties. Um, so I grabbed the ID property of this element. And so I'm showing you its ID, but I have access to the full element. And so if I wanted to change anything about the element based on it, getting the focus, uh, I could do that. Okay. And then I'm just saying here, this is just pure uh, words being printed to the console to say that this was a focus event. So I'm telling you which element uh, it was by showing you its ID and what event it was, it was a focus event. And then all these functions look pretty much the same. I'm showing you what element it was and that it was an input event. What element it was, it was a blur event. What element it was, it was a change event. Okay, so let's refresh. So nothing in the console at this stage. I'm going to put my cursor in name and that invokes the focus event. That's what focus is, getting the cursor in there. And I will type uh, Vince, there we go. So then that was a sequence of input events. Every time the input is any time I make any change to the input in a box. And then if I leave that box somehow to get that, uh, Vince sort of into the box, then I am uh, change is sort of a combination of there was some change to the content of the box and I am leaving it and blur is just leaving. So if I come down here to age, I get a focus on age. And if I come back, to the name, I get a focus on the name. And then if I leave the name again, I get a focus on the age. So the, the change event requires, as I was typing, now I'll go to Vincent. As I type the N, I'm getting an input and a T, another input, but only when I sort of leave the box or, or then do I get a change? So the input is is any change to the content. The focus is when I come into the box. The blur is when I leave the box. And change is sort of a combination of I've made some change and now I'm leaving. So it's not while I am making any change, but only as I leave. So if you only want something to happen, if you want something to happen the instant something uh, changes in the box, then you want on input. But if you want to only wait until you are leaving the box, then you want the change. Um, if you want it to not bother if you are leaving the box, uh, you want change if, you've, if you're leaving the box and some content has changed. Uh, if you always want it to happen when you're leaving the box, no matter what, that's blur. If you want it to only do something if the content has changed, then it is is the, the change event. So input while the content is changing, cha on change is only I have made some change and I am leaving. Focus is when you're coming in. Blur is when you are leaving. And if you work with 
uh, when you invoke these functions here, if you use the keyword this as an argument in, in the parentheses of a function, then you have access to the full element down here. So I didn't have to write an on focus for the name input and another on focus for the uh, age. They could be shared, but because of this argument, I know which one got me here and I have access to it. Now, all I've used is the access to the ID, but I do have access to the full thing. I could uh, change its background color, its color, its font, any anything that I might want to change about the box I could do here because I have full access to that element. Um, okay, so I just wanted to show you a bunch of different events um, and this idea of the this being used as an argument and then it down needs to match down here, what we call the signatures need to match. And so I'm going to call it, uh, here I called it the EL for element, and then I have access to its properties. And then we have this slight distinctions, or maybe not so slight sometimes. Focus the event you're coming in, blur the event when you're leaving, input any change while you're changing it. And that the on change event is only if I've made a change and I'm getting ready to leave. So it depends what you want to do and when you want to do it, but you have this. And we have even more things. I could have made this even more complicated. You can have uh, mouse events. Uh, so explicitly, if you're doing uh, some copy and paste in the mouse, or if you are typing, the keys are going down, the keys are coming up. There are uh, a big whole sequence of events. Um, this was already complicated enough with four. So that's what I wanted to show you here. Thanks for your attention.